Hey there, I'm Janet Stone. I am a global ambassador for Lululemon. I've been with Lululemon for a long time, nearly 17 years, and so grateful to be here, getting off my couch, joining you all for a little movement, a lot of breath, and some grounding and energizing. You ready? So wherever you are, you don't even need a mat, really, just come standing. Let's go ahead and take the feet uh, about as wide as the hips and give a little bend in the knees. Take both hands on the low belly. Let's close the eyes. Take a moment, lift up your toes, spread the toes, let them land back down on the ground. Feel this wide base through the feet. Exhale, open the mouth, empty the breath. Go heavy down through the leg bones, shin bones, ankle bones, feet bones, deep into the ground. Again, sip in the breath, open into the back body, sip it in, back portion of the lungs, open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> to celebrate this body, this breath, our lungs, their capacity, one more inhale. Take a deep dive inward, look inward toward your steadiness inside, sip it in, open the mouth, exhale. Beautiful. Open the eyes. Let's open the feet a little bit wider. Spin the toes out and the heels in. We'll give a little bend in the knees. You can keep the hands here and we'll rock a little side to side. So maybe you're congested in and around the hips if you've been sitting a lot these days. Go ahead and open now the arms out. Yeah? So bent elbows, bent knees. Open. Try to press the elbows back. Then exhale, pull the elbows together. Almost like you're gonna cl clap the elbows and the hands. Inhale, open. Exhale, in. Inhale, let's try to get around the shoulder space, around the ribs. Exhale, empty breath, empty, empty. Inhale, open. Big capacity, exhale, close. Let's go one more. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open, and straighten out the legs, spin the toes in, hands come to meet at the heart. Close the eyes here. A lot of us hanging out in worry, in fear, maybe anxiety, dropping the mind, dropping, melting some of that concern for some imagined future, letting go of expectations from maybe the past or what you were supposed to be doing or thought you would be doing. Just ground yourself here with what is. Open the eyes, let the big toes in to touch. Go ahead and give a bend in the knees. Keep the heels down and we'll float the arms up. Reach from the sit bones to the fingers. So get really high and then exhale, wave the arms down and back. Pull the belly to the back body on this exhale. Push the hands up to the sky. So you feel your triceps here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. This one again, we'll go through the mouth on the exhale. <sighs> Inhale is through the nose. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Open the arms out now. <sighs> Open the mouth. Reach out through the fingers. Bring the right elbow underneath the left. So it looks like you're just getting clapping your hands here, but with the elbows twisted. If this is too much, touch into the opposite shoulders. Yeah? Inhale here, exhale, elbow tips down, belly to the back body. Inhale, keep the knees bent, lift the fingers, exhale, curl in. Inhale up, exhale, curl in. I'll be warming up, inhale, release the arms out, reach out through the fingers, left elbow underneath the right, fingers up, Exhale, pull it in. Couple more, up and pull it in. Inhale, up and pull it in. Inhale, release it out, stand up, reach the arms up, and then bring the hands all the way back to center. Yeah? Hopefully getting some breath here. Bend the knees, touch the earth with the fingers, float the arms up. Let's push down through that right foot, Pull the left knee in, wave the arms back. Left foot down, float the arms up. Let's 
go again, right knee in, curl it in, reach it up. So wherever you are, whatever variation, find your breath. Keep digging deeper and deeper into the breath. Last full round. And right knee. Beautiful. We'll bring the hands down. Let's fold in. So your hands might rest on the thighs or the shins, or you got something like blocks. Place them under the hands if you need, otherwise to the earth. Fold in. Inhale, lengthen here. Exhale, fold again. We'll do that again two more times. Inhale, lengthen. Pull the heart forward. Send the inner thighs back so the thigh bones push back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold in. Give yourself a little bend in the knees. You can take the hands, place them on the sacrum, so the low back, or interlace the fingers, or hold a strap with both hands and let the hands fall forward. Pull breath in and around the ribs, the collarbones. Really want to bring space all the way in and around that rib cage. Beautiful. Hands come down, inhale, lengthen. Step your left foot back. So the right knee is over that right ankle. Root that left heel back, and then inhale, right arm goes up. So slowly reach up through the right fingers, scoop the arm down, reach it forward and up and around. We'll go a couple more, two more, scoop it down. Reach it forward, like beyond where the fingertips end, reach it up and around, one more. So really getting that honoring of the space around the lungs. And then reach that right arm up all the way to the sky. And then take the right hand down. We'll bring that left knee down. Untuck the toes. You're either going to keep the hands here, or if you need some elevation, you can place them on blocks. Or slide them back so they're underneath the hips. Maybe you're touching the ground. Maybe you're holding on to blocks. Lift up through the heart. Then exhale, we're gonna straighten the right leg, fold over the right leg. So really just trying to counter all of that sitting and all of this kind of inward. Bend that right knee again. We'll come through two more breaths. Open, lift up through the heart. Exhale, fold in. Let the back portion of the lungs open. Last one, bend the right knee, lift up. And exhale, fold in. Curl the toes back. From here, let's take both hands inside the right foot and bend the right knee. You can either keep that back knee down or curl the back toes under, bring the back knee up. Just do little push-ups, three little push-ups inside that right knee. Might look really small, might look bigger. Yeah, just getting into that right hip. And then from here, you can bring the elbows down if you've got that space, and step the right foot back. So you're an elbow plank, puffing out through the back ribs. Please use the knees down if you need to. Otherwise, the knees are up. Hug the elbows toward the feet. Two more deep breaths. Beautiful, let's bring the hips down. We open up around the heart. Curling it open, elbows can be down or up. Lifting, exhale, lower, chin into the chest, pull the belly off the ground. You can either just lift the belly or lift the hips, thighs, knees, bring it back down, open up. You can just find your variation, two more, in. And open, and in. So you can strengthen that back body. In the front body, beautiful. Lower down, hands under the shoulders, hips back toward the heels. Let's come back, downward facing dog. And bend one knee and then bend the other. Just have a little moment breathing in through the back body. And then both heels go heavy, long through the side body. And then come up on the balls of the feet. We'll place the hips on what feels like maybe a Ferris wheel. Yeah, so the hips go forward, shoulders over the wrists, 
Bend the knees, hips draw back, up and around. So bring a little bit of movement and fluidity through the spine that as we tend to maybe sit more during this time, we unwind some of that stiffening, some of that hardening. Last one. Beautiful downward facing dog, heels heavy to the ground. High up on the balls of the feet then, bend the knees. Pull the hips way back. Reach the hips even further away from the shoulders. Bring the feet between the hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold it. Let's go ahead and bend the knees. Float the arms up. Spin the palms forward again. Draw the left knee in, wave the arms back. Feet down, reach it up. Right knee draws in. So a little bit of balance here too. And float it up side to side. So bringing again breath as that core guiding force here. Empty breath. Full, 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 full breath. Right knee in, last one. Empty, empty breath, full, full, full breath. Rise up, reach up, hands to prayer at the heart. Shift the weight into that right leg, bring the left knee up. You can either just keep it here at the chest or interlace the fingers, press them in front of the shin, push the shin forward, lift up through the top of the head. Shin pushes forward. You can stay here or you can hold the base of that left foot and push the foot forward. I know, not showing off, but just <laughs> see if you can balance. In the moment where we all feel kind of off balance, bend the knee, set it down. Let's change sides, push in through the left, right knee up, pause here, either hold it here or interlace, push the right shin forward, helps you drop that right sit bone. Stay here, or again, if you're holding the right foot, extend it. And slowly release it, setting it down. Feet strong, rise up. Exhale, fold in. Let's bow forward in your own way. Inhale, three rounds to lengthen, to empty breath, fold in. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, empty breath, fold in. One more, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold in. This time, inhale, lengthen. We'll step that right foot back this time, root the right hand down, left arm opens, let's swing it back, scoop it into the ground like you're gonna lift up some of the kids' toys or carpet, fluff, a couple more, and scoop it forward and up, and last one, big open through the shoulder, reach up through the left fingers, pause here, wrap the breath in and around the rib cage, front, sides, back, left hand comes down, right knee comes down, once again, maybe you want your blocks, maybe your hands just stay forward, maybe you have the space for them to slide back. But we lift up through the heart, stay here for a moment, inhale fully, and then exhale, fold over the front leg. Again, you can walk your blocks around or have the hands down. If you don't have blocks, maybe you got some pillows nearby. Open and fold in. Yeah, two more. Open. And fold in. Open, curl open, and fold in. Let's go ahead and take both hands inside that left foot. We'll bend that left knee. Keep the back knee down or curl the back toes under, bring the back knee up. So similar to what we did second side. 
Inhale, lengthen, either come in halfway or just a little bend in the elbows and press yourself back up. Lots of love in and around the hip, lower and lift, lower and lift. Stay here, or if you've got that space, bring the elbows down. Maybe they need to rest on some blocks, books, whatever you got. Stay for a moment, heart goes forward. Push to the forearms. See if you can step that left foot back. Yeah, knees might be down or up. Hold five breaths. Deep in the breath. Scoop the belly up. And as you're ready, lower the hips down. Come again into that sphinx, the heart goes forward, drawing through the, sense the frame of the shoulders. Exhale, belly in, chin into the chest. Stay here, lift the hips and thighs. Inhale, open. Two more, curl in. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl in. Inhale. Open, exhale, lower down. Let's pull the hips back to the heels. Knees open, let's come into child's pose. Let's get long through the fingers, reaching the fingers a little bit further forward. Bring your hands together, they meet. Bend the elbows, fingertips to the sky. So give this breath around the shoulders, long through the back of the neck. Last full breath here. Pull the breath in behind the heart, to the sides, to the front. And release the hands up. Let's come in the downward facing dog again. Pausing here. Heels heavy. You know, just stay still, but come back onto that Ferris wheel. Up on the balls of the feet, shoulders forward, back and around. This to me is that invitation to move fluidly, to bring some of the stagnation and exhale it out. Yeah, last one, if you're in motion. And then bring it back, downward dog, big toes come together, right leg up to the sky. Let's bring the right foot through between the hands, left heel down, and we'll come on up, warrior one. Might be the hands are at prayer at the heart, or maybe they're rising up. Take one full breath here, and then hands come back. You can either set them on the waist or interlace them. Lift up, and then let's fold in right shoulder. Maybe rest on or inside that right knee. The hands might be holding a strap or a towel. Maybe they're just touching into the waist. Last breath. Beautiful, release the hands down. Walk that right foot toward the left hand. You've got something to elevate. You can set yourself right into pigeon. Curl up and open. Exhale, you can fold in. Maybe come down just a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Depends on how much space you have. You just wanna have that sense of being all the way connected in and breathing through that right hip. You can stay here or reach back for that left foot, pulling the left heel into the left sit bone. Take another full breath here. Beautiful, let's come on up. Shift the weight in the right hip. Bring that left leg around outside that right knee. You got that little space and then we'll just twist it to the left. Look over that left shoulder, but lift up like you got a little string on the top of the head, pulling you up. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful, unwind it. Let's counter twist, look over to the right. Hands root down, we'll step back, up or push up. Stay here, or lower in a couple times and press yourself back up. Yeah, I know, it looks like a push-up. You can have your knees down. 
and back, downward dog. Toes in, left leg to the sky, left foot through between the hands, right heel down. Inhale, float the arms up. Again, they can be here or here. Lift, reach, circle the hands back. Either rest them on the waist as you lift up or interlace them, lift up. Exhale, fold in. Just getting right into all those spaces that tend to get so static, beautiful. Release the hands down, heel toe the left foot toward the right, drop the left knee, the left hip. You can be sitting on something, curl open, exhale, fold in. Find your variation here, deep into that left hip. Maybe you want to stay here, reach back for the right foot. I have two teen kids at home, all the things that I've shifted for them recently and finding so many delightful ways to connect and then also with their community. So right here, even though we may feel alone in our space, just knowing that we're all interconnected, slowly come on up. Let's find that twist again, right leg over and outside that left. Look over the right shoulder. Bring that twist in all of these postures and all of these practices. Just bring us back to first the connection with our own breath, our own body, our own ecosystem in a sense. And then it brings us back to our interconnectedness with all living things, nature and animals, and of course, our human brother and sisters. Unwind, look over to the left. Come back to center. Here you can bring the base of the feet together. We'll rock a little bit over to the left and you can use that right hand to press away. So we're trying to get in and around the hip flexors. Also the quadratus lumborum, the QL. Then come on up and change. Deep, full breaths. Come back through center, and if you've got the space, maybe you lean forward a little bit. Maybe you don't. You can lean forward. Some of you might be simple, placing the forehead on the floor, but some, some are taking a longer journey, pushing the feet together, pulling the collarbones forward. And then inhale through the nose. Hopefully, you got some friends around because so just make that sound. Inhale through the nose. Let the mouth, the lips, the face soften. You don't recognize how much tension we carry in our face. Slowly come on up. Let's extend that right leg forward. Just take a couple breaths here. We'll lift up through the heart. And then exhale, fold over. Again, it might just look like a lean a little bit, or maybe your forehead is all the way to the shin. It doesn't matter. Three breaths here. on up and we'll change sides left leg goes forward right knee bends inhale little lean or fold in. last full breath here beautiful come on up feet on the earth you can either keep the feet down and just lean forward and back a couple rounds or bring the feet up and pull the knees to the chest and then lean back just find this little pulsation, wake through the front body. Last active posture. And last one. Lean back, pause, and then come on up. You can either come all the way back onto your back for a Shavasana, for a deep rest here, and give yourself the time and the opportunity, or come seated with me. Just hit pause if you're gonna rest back. Otherwise, come seated with me. Take the right hand onto the heart, left hand onto the low belly, and let's close our eyes. Feeling the depth of the breath. As I inhale, I calm my mind. 
as I exhale, I calm my body. As I inhale, I calm my mind. And as I exhale, I calm my body. exchange all day using the breath to reset to connect back inward so we can connect more thoroughly fully compassionately outward so we don't have to ride the fear train right hand feels into your beating heart this powerful vessel, this powerful life force you have here, the left hand on the belly, the power of creation and creativity, your intuition, your deeper knowing. We'll take the hands, we'll meet them at the heart, and I simply say thank you, thank you, thank you for taking a moment, for ways in which you're working to connect even in this time that feels like separation, but it's together apart. So we're really in this together. Even though I'm in my home, you're in your home, but thank you so much. We'll see you on the mat next time.